Which one was the right one? You need to know what to do in times like these. Welcome to Big Chef. My name is Movi, the motivator. Thank you so much for choosing us. One way you can stay safe is by staying at home and watching me today. So please, if you are you know, planning to step out, no. The best way to stay coronavirus free is by tuning in to Joy Prime every Sunday at 3.30. As you already know, we like to teach the children the basic steps, not just with cooking, but with their lives. And so the first lesson everyone should learn, wash your hands. It's pretty simple. I mean, this is a no brainer. Obviously germs hate soap and water, running water that is, not water in a bowl or in a basin or in the sink or no, running water. So make sure you're washing your hands every 20 minutes if you can, it will save your life. And please make sure you're rubbing the you know, corners, you know, like a doctor does. You know, if you're wearing a ring, wash the ring. Check that one for one side is very, very important in this time. Now, you turn on the tap, let it flow, let it flow. Oh, let it flow and wash your hands please make sure you're doing it for at least 20 seconds every 20 minutes will save your life as i said so wash your hands i mean love your hands this is a time to fall in love with your hands wash it wash it make love to your hands you know what i'm saying like love your hands because this is how you're going to stay coronavirus free now, I'm sure a lot of parents are wondering what to talk to their kids about. Please make sure that you are addressing their concerns and please just watch and do what I do, okay? Now, hmm, coronavirus in Timaya Diva 10 times. Me too, Matachi, me too. You know, Movi likes to do this and that, not anymore. You can't touch your face, you can't touch your hair. Don't touch nothing, even the ASF, don't touch it, you know? But as I was saying, make sure you're addressing their concerns. Some of them are going to be scared because of the things they're seeing on TV. As a parent or a responsible parent, you have to know when the time is right to broach the subject. So please make sure that you are letting them know that yes, it is a deadly virus, but if you do the necessary things, you can stay alive. So tell them, teach them to wash their hands, to drink lots of water at least every 15 minutes. Just a sip. Put it down. And there you go. So wash your hands. My goodness. So we're going to have a very beautiful show. I can guarantee you we've taught the kids to stay at least three meters away from each other. We've taught them to cough into their elbows. For those of you who are still doing this, me cho <laughs> you know, so it's <coughs> in here, in there, or in a tissue, and then you throw it away, and then you wash your hands, as I illustrated. It's very simple. We're taking a short break when we come back. We actually get to meet my beautiful kids who are going to cook something delicious and virus-free. <laughs> Welcome back from the break. And as I said, the kids are ready to burn already. But before they do that, we have a little education for everybody out there. So please make sure that you are watching what the kids are about to do. Before we start burning kids, what should we do? Wash our hands. Okay, so can you show them at least? I mean, you know, stay three feet apart. Please stay three feet apart from each other. One person washing, one person rubbing on the side. Oh dear. Just, okay. I don't think I'll wait. Okay. So wash, wash, wash. 20 seconds at least. 
everybody at home should do this right now. If your kitchen is away, just step away for a little bit and go and wash your hands for me. It's very, very important. A lot of people are, not, are taking this for granted, but they are silly to be doing that. And unfortunately, we we'll lose a lot of lives because of the ignorance. And they, oh, God got me. Hey, all right. So, are you done? No. Yes. You're not done. Okay, some are done. Please make sure to stay away from each other, okay? It's called social distancing. What is it called? Social distancing. Okay, and it's for your own good, okay? So that you don't catch someone's virus. Or, or you're not giving somebody touch wood. I'm sure y'all are clean anyway. But please wash your hands regularly and drink lots of water too. So can we do that exercise as well? Can we drink some water before we begin? Because I know in the heat of the moment, you will all be trying to impress, you know, our viewers with your delicious meals. So you forget to drink. So at least 20 minutes, take a sip. I'm not saying gulp the whole bottle of love yet. <laughs> but just take a little sip, you know. That's it. And there you go. So you know what we do here, don't you? Yes. On three, two... One what? Bang. Bang! That's right. Okay, so the challenge today for our beautiful, should I say, yeah, the big six big shepherds, <laughs> my own word, is um, cooking with Indomie. Every single time we're on the show, we have a special guest pass through to, you know, give us, a, should I say, a non-biased, uh, opinion because um, when it's one person you do know that it's always you know, you know. Yes, <laughs> so yes, today you know. we're mixing it up yes, and I'm you. actually very excited to see uh, this lady's in one of like say Shalom's favorite color and so I'm, I'm already loving her unfortunately because of coronavirus I couldn't hug her like I like to I like to hug a lot you are very very lucky I want to just you know <laughs> but pardon me um, Georgina Abba Baby Abba. Yes. You were the winner of Fritals and Rich and Large Cooking Reality Show. Yes. How was that? Mm. The competition was tough anyway, but then the win, it's a great feeling. Mm. <laughs> what did you cook to, you know, wow the judges? The last day wasn't only on the food. It was also about your business plan. You, you present your business plan. Right. Too. So it was presentation of the business plan. Mm -hmm. And then... I gave the judges ginger lemonade to wash down their palates before wow. I presented my XLR gold rice abolo. Mm. Yes, pan sealed, gupa, and then I gave them hot chili red sauce. Mm. My, my, I'm salivating, I can't <laughs> even talk right now. <laughs> That's about the most amazing meal I've heard the whole year. Thank you for teasing my <laughs> own palate right now. But what are you expecting from the children when it comes to Indomie especially? What are you expecting them to Today, because of the COVID-19. Oh, I love her already. And the way it keeps increasing. Personally, for today, I think most of my marks are going to happen. And then, finally, the taste. Hmm. I like her already. I, I now, I'm creativity. sure. Creativity, 50-50. Not really. Hygiene but is today, key. hygiene yes. is... I, I love you. You should be one of the ambassadors for, you know, uh, COVID-19, in fact. Thank you so much for coming on board. Chef Adepa. From COVID to take home. Chef Adepa. <laughs> no. Welcome to the show. So what do you have to add? All right. So she's checking on taste and then hygiene. I'm looking at my process, my creativity, and all the big platings and garnish. Okay. All right. So whatever you're looking out for, 
you can also, you know, make your vote speak. And please don't listen to any of them. <laughs> listen to your gut feeling, what you want to vote them, you know, for, really. So it's actually B Chef, the child's name, and text it to 1903. It's that simple. So B Chef, the child's name, to 1903. Last week, we sadly saw Khadija and Kiara walk out. Um, hopefully, there will be no evictions today. But I Say pray that whatever it Say is, it you are going to vote. That's very important, you know. Your vote actually matters. So please, vote, vote, vote. And stay safe. For those of you who are home, pray for others who need it. Now, every time I come, every time I come to the set, I mean, this stands out for me because they are one, um, you know, sponsor that has everything you need in your kitchen. Everything, everything you can think of, a blender, a juicer, halogen, I mean, pots and pans, hand blenders, fridges, you know, so whatever home appliance you need, please make sure, and office appliances as well, Please make sure that you are finding Yield Money Plus. Now, Yield Money Plus are encouraging you to buy now and pay later. It's that simple. But as we're going for a short break, please make sure that you're sanitizing. All right. So, Fritol is also another major sponsor on the show. We want to thank them for coming on board. And Fritol now has so many things you can think of. So, for those of you who are looking to stick to one brand. They even have the stock cubes, the Frital stock cubes right there, shrimp. <coughs> they have rice, you know, Frital in different packaging. For those of you who want to live green, please make sure that you're getting all of these products to help, you know, make your staying at home amazing. Now, talking about all my brands, my goodness, today we're using Indomie, as you already have heard, and right here at the Indomie stand, you can see all different types of Indomie, all different types, and you can get them in the supermarkets. They are not scarce like some other products, so wherever you are in Ghana, make sure you're stocking up on your pepper chicken, your onion chicken, your chicken flavor, you know, chicken pepper soup flavor. Indomene has all different flavors to make your children want more. Indomene, mmm, does taste great. Right. So for tomato purees you know we Ghanaians I mean we we have won the bragging rights for the best jollof in the world in fact in the whole universe all the planets when you go there Ghana will be the number one jollof winner yes I said it and Pomo and Gino definitely make sure that your jollof tastes great and it is not colored, you know, no preservatives, no coloring, no sugar, no additives at all. But it is concentrated for you to enjoy that sweet tomato puree taste. So when you go to the supermarkets, they have it in sachets. They have it in bigger sachets, you know, all the sizes that you want. I'm taking a short break. When I come back, ooh, there'll be more. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. 
welcome back. And so, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's my job today. Not just to talk, but to ensure that we are all doing this. You know, we're still washing our hands here on Big Chef. Whew. Trust me, I said burn, but somebody is over burning. Who it is, we're going to find out because their food has too much pepper inside. Is it Mami Ya, who, whose nose is actually, you know, a little wet at the tip? Or is it Love Yet, who's smiling so hard? Or is it Christopher who's trying to ignore my question? That they're cooking Indomie today. Chef Adepa and Chef Georgina obviously are supervising and also finding out, you know, who's doing what. But I'm loving Chef Georgina. She's like the coronavirus, um, you know, ambassador. And Chef Adepa, obviously, the plating is what matters to him. Doesn't matter if it tastes disgusting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he's definitely looking out for creativity, plating, you know, presentation, basically and marinating those spices and herbs and mm, you know yeah so guys guess how many more minutes you have look up how many minutes, minutes. okay so they can read you know yeah <laughs> they can read and write so definitely they know that they are you know cooking under duress, unfortunately, 30 more minutes for us to go and see who is bringing magic to the judges' table. I'm convinced that they're going to have a very tough job on their hands because remember, six different minds, six different hands, six different bodies. Who is going to present that thing beautifully with a smile on their face? Only God knows, but when the time is right, you would know too. But remember to vote, vote, vote is very, very important. It's 1903 All Networks. Text B Chef before the child's name, and then you send it to 1903. Voila, it's that simple, like ABC. So let's keep an eye on what they're doing in the Big Chef. Ooh, geez. Wow. Are you carving a pot or what, Abigail? A fit. Whose face? It better be mine. Oh, okay. If it's nice, it's yours. But if, if it's not nice. <laughs> I don't know okay. So I can't wait to see what that comes out as. Whose face that will be? <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Wow. Huh. Creativity. No, no. Obebro, Chef Adipa. No, Obebro, raw. Wow. Auntie, can you believe that this is Indomie dough? Indomie dough. <coughs> hey! You should, you should have told me earlier. I thought it was just normal dough. No. So how did you do that? I grinded the indomie into powder. Raw? Yes. Okay. And then, then I added a little salt and butter. Yeah. Wow. Hold on. Where's the mince meat in this? I'm <laughs> trying to figure it out. Oh, I see one there. Okay. Oh, wow. So it's like a meat chicken combo. Yeah. And you're going to put it on top of your indomie. Yeah. Hmm. Have you had this yourself? Yes. With the fungus? Yes. Huh? How did it taste? Great. Oh my God. Yes, breathtakingly great. Okay, I can't wait to see what you have though. That looks good. Hmm. My face. Yeah. You hate it or you love it? Okay, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> I can't see you guys drinking. I know you're busy, but drink lots of water, yeah? I want to see the whole bottle finished, at least. A whole bottle. Everyone has to show me their empty bottles at the time we stop burning. All right, 
So, Chef Georgina, tell me, what, what, what are you doing to, you know, tell us? I can see a lot of creativity. Right. Is that all your... Uh, I thought you were going to talk about all the six, you know, big the things six. you can't leave one out. That's why I said I just can't wait okay. forever because everyone is busy combining mm -hmm. something. I see some, especially with Lovette. Yeah. Yes. Her knife work and um, Christopher. Uh -huh. I see them displaying some, yes. Wow. Chef knife work and stuff. Nice. I just can't wait to taste their food. Oh, Everyone wow. is bringing out their best. Hmm. Yes. What do you have to say about our, our little Missy there? Um, Mamea. Nanajwa. Nana yeah, Nanajwa. I see also mixing indomie with egg and they are all mixing some things. Mm. Some I just can't wait to taste them. Right. Food. So you said you're looking out for some, you know, hygiene, obviously. But that basically, when I went out, mm -hmm. I think everyone is okay. really giving out their best when it comes to hygiene. Okay. So now I'm waiting to taste. All right. Okay. So we're all waiting. I'm just waiting to smell the aroma first. They were, you know, someone was trying to choke me. Uh, but we got it on the lockdown. And uh, <laughs> she's smiling. But <laughs> I'm not going to tell you who. All you can do to keep all our children in the competition is by voting B Chef, the child's name. That's Nanajwa, Abigail, Mamiya, Clifford, Loviet, or Christopher. Any one of those names, any one that you like, and text it to 1903. It's pretty simple. So make sure that you're voting. Remember what happened last week. So many people stopped me in town complaining. Oh, oh no, it was not fair. What's not fair is you not voting. That is totally uncool. Chada, omo me pomoncho won vote. Vote, vote, vote. I'd like to say a very big thank you to everybody who has made, you know, the Big Chef one of the big shows. My family, Mama, Shasha, Auntie Baba. Ooh. So, Auntie Baba, welcome home once again. And I hope you're enjoying your stay. Well, so guys, are you ready? The clock is ticking and talking. So make sure that you're finishing in at least 18 minutes. Yeah, exactly, actually.
So, like I was saying, I mean, everybody has their, you know, favorite way of preparing indomie. Some like it dry and, you know, some like it crispy. Some even like to toast it a little bit in the oil so it's a little bit crunchy. And some love the soup, you know, so you are kind of oh, slurping it out of the spoon. And it's so great. But as you can see, guys, take a look at the clock. 38 seconds, 37, a few more seconds for you to step back from your station. We're going to find out who has made Indomie proud. Who is going to be an Indomie ambassador? Because I'm sure Indomie, the brand, does not even want to see the stir fry because we're all very, very tired of that. They want to see something different, out of the box. They want to see something creative. And I'm sure they will be, you know, supporting that person with an educational fund or something. You know, Indomie definitely has to do something for the winner today because it's all about them today. So Indomie, mm, tastes great, you like no other. We cannot wait. Time's up. So time is up, guys. We are gonna give them just a few seconds to clean up their station. When we come back from the break, who has burned and who has burned? Okay, welcome back, and uh, I hope you're ready because trust me, we are about to blow your brains into smithereens. Okay, not me, the children. Like, my mouth is just watering, just looking at some of the dishes from afar, and I don't know what the judges are going to say about them, but some of them is like, you know, a no brainer, and some of them is like, mm, yeah, and some of them is like, Woo! get out of here. <laughs> so, we're about to start with uh who should i start with hands up if you're ready Nanajwa. okay wow what do you have for us mm, this is crispy golden indomie mm. crispy well golden done indomie. yes and how do you make that please i bought my indomie mm -hmm. and i used um minced beef chicken and vegetables and i sauteed it and i added it to the indomie and i fried it the indomie are you fried yes so wow. this is fried yes all right thank you so much so chef i think you serve yourself and i Yeah, I like the crepes. I saw magic and also a little salt and I used it as a seasoning, the salt and maggi. Mm. I seasoned the chicken and the meat. Okay. Chef Georgina, any comments? It tastes good. That? It tastes good. Oh, mm, tastes great. Mm. And it's crunchy too. Yeah. Thank you. So I Very like your crunchiness. Thank you. Uh, your plate is fairly okay. And then there was something that I used. She used fungus and also she used 
dried mushrooms. And I could feel all of it, or I could see all of it within the yeah. noodles. So your ability to come out with this is uh, amazing. Wow. And I appreciate you for that. So thank well you so Well done. Much. Thank you. Abigail, you're next. Another draw. No, that's okay. Okay, behind the line. Right, okay, so turn it this way for me. So they can see what you've done. Everybody just nice. zoom in. That's it. What? It, that's Moby the Motivator. <laughs> I inspired this dish, I'm sure. Abigail, who is that? So, Abigail, who were you looking at when you were doing this? Um, okay, okay, Moby. Someone is not. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you have red eyes. Yes, I do. You can see it at night, but she's nose. obviously in the spirit, so she saw it. <laughs> wow. Okay. So what is this? What is this? We asked for Indomie, and then what is this? Um, this is Indomie. That is Indomie? Yes. Then how did you make this? Um, Tell the whole of Ghana how. I, mold, I grinded the Indomie to powder, and I added um, butter and salt mm -hmm. and molded it to make something like this okay. and now that the corona virus has come most of the markets will be closed so mm -hmm. if you're having indomie indomie at home you can create a lot of dishes like you can even use this to make banku wow. you can use this to make porridge wow. you can use this to make a lot of That's things right. so maybe you are home and you are like oh I've, I have light soup and indomie. I can't eat light soup and indomie. What will I do? Mm -hmm. Just make this into powder. Drive it like banku. And you are done with what you are going to eat. It's a very good meal and it's very delicious. And I hope you are going to see it. Mm. Well then done, Abigail. What, what is this? Um, this is quid ink. I use the squid ink to dye my dough mm -hmm. to make it um, darker to, so that it look more like a hat and this will look like a face. Okay, it looks so like a face and it looks amazing. We thank you so much for this amazing creativity. You know, I, I like the idea about her or the hair quarantine story. You know, <laughs> so many people like Indomie, you get it. And I, I, a friend of mine told me, he came around and then the girlfriend, they've, they've been quarantined. I said, what do you have for me? Oh, chicken alfredo. The next day, what? Chicken alfredo. The next day was shrimp alfredo. All alfredo. So if you have this, if you are not just making stir-fried indomie, I think you can grind your indomie more into powder and use the flour out for something so amazing. So, Abby, thank you so much. But then, it seems, how did you get this colors? Um, I dyed the indomie in sobolo flowers. So we can and also use sobolo too. Viscous, and I added this wache leaves to it to make it more colorful. Mm -hmm. But please, you guys have forgotten about my drink. Mm -hmm. We are coming, <laughs> because, don't worry. Because of how cold the weather is, I made this hot so that it will And then what do you have in your oh, drink? Wow. Um, it's dole. And what? And milk. And then? And then Indomie. Chef, sure. <laughs> please talk. Me, I'm done talking. Abigail, what do you have here? And um, this is my um, violet pepper sauce. Wow. Your violet pepper sauce, what makes it, what made it violet? Um, I used um, this vegetable beetroot. Alright, so chef, okay. I think you should, uh, when you are done, you just pick this and then we do something, you get it. I like, I'm always happy when it, when it's just two. Okay, <laughs> so help yourself. Let's do something. In Korea, we say kampai. You've been left out in Hello. Korea. I'm happy. Hello. <laughs> in Korea, we say kampai. So let's Social go. Social distancing. <laughs> Social drinking. <laughs> This was good, Abigail. Well done. Thank mm. you. Chef. Mm. Well done, Abigail. <laughs> Thank you chef. very much. Thanks, Chef. Chef, comment this again. Eh? Um, see, when someone will be on your BM, though, this is good. Eh? Thank you very much. All right, so Clifford, wow. What is this? Clifford, what do you have for us? AM. Cheesy Indomie with delay. Cheesy Indomie with delay. Okay. Wow, that looks very amazing. 
There you wow. go. Wow. I like that look here. Wow, Chef, what do you think about this? It's a, he's I already hope it tastes looks looks like. Yes, he's already It tastes like how it looks. You have to see. You haven't tasted yet. <laughs> so, Christopher, you tell us about your dish, please. Okay, um, with this, um, Clifford, mm -hmm. um, I boiled my indomie. Mm -hmm. Where is the indomie? It's inside it. So, the indomie has been um, fried. Hey! So, you can, when you are eating it, you, you can. You, chef. So, the indomie fried note. I saw you made a sauce. Where is the sauce? Um, uh, it was better more so. I put the boiled indomie into it, stirred it, and chilled it for about 20 minutes. After that, I cut them. Chef, <laughs> chef, uh, where are you going from? <laughs> Clifford, go ahead, and then what happened? What did you do next? Then I put them, after cutting them, I put them in. Um, into a flour, put them into an egg and add a little bread crumbs to it and fry it. And it's a deep frying. Mm, Chef. Well done. Chef, you should talk. Me, I'm done talking. <laughs> Your innovation is good. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. Your vegetables are crunchy. Mm -hmm. You're on point, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done. Clifford. What do you have here? What else do you have? Um, this. It's a bit sauce. Okay. Um, this chef, like this is it's good. amazing. This is. <laughs> what about your drink? Um, what, what is so that? interesting? It's delay, and I put Please. some cherries, cherries into it. Cherries? Yeah. Uh, can we just do Kampa here again? <laughs> And then to the world. <laughs> Bring it here. Let, let's just show it to the world. Thank God. Mm. And what do you have in there? And and it's that cherry. is cherry. What did you add to your dolly? Um, it's like I combined uh, different types of chef. Different yes. types of dolly. Dolly. Yes. Oh wow! Chef. So which oh. flavors? Different flavors. Um, the <laughs> this is I want to try one. it at home. Which one? Can you tell the, us? Uh, the uh, banana, the banana, uh -huh. the apple, and the orange. Oh, Chef, wow. you just scored two extra points for this. Trust me. Please take this in. Eh? Well done. This, Thank this you so mine. much, Mami. Yeah. So you keep mine somewhere. Okay, let me keep it here before mm. someone. So thank okay, you Clifford, so much. Thank you. Hold the base of the glass. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Clifford, I think you should. I'm just begging you, kindly do something for someone, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Movie. Mamiya. Oh my god, oh. girl. This looks amazing. What is it? <laughs> Look at chicken. If you are cocoa. Hmm. And then and then they are <laughs> With granites and dolly smoothie. Mm. Mm. Judges, please get to work. <laughs> dolly smoothie. Wow. The dolly is a drink, isn't it? It's not with the indomie. Mm. So I decided to do the Alfredo sauce because it's different for me. It's different and it's nice. And it also depends on how you do it and the ingredients you use. So if I use mushroom, let someone can So this is not shrimp Alfredo sauce? No. If you cook Alfredo. Mami, how much herbs do you have in there? Parsley and then I use the basil for the chicken. Okay. And then there's parsley. What is basil? Akukome. I like the chili. The food is good. Thank you. Aliba, are we permitted to invite someone? Who do you want to invite? Someone? Oh no, Mamiya always Please, has me don't worry. in mind. So <laughs> Mamiya, do you have in mind? She sorted me out. Oh yeah. Have yeah, you forgotten last week? She gave me a so, smoothie. Mamiya, oh. don't. 
So let me just tell you, but I like your place. But then the only problem here is that with our bread, we want to see a differentiation between the noodles, okay, whatever pasta you have in there, and also the alfredo sauce. But this looks too sticky for an alfredo sauce. Then I wish you can't really see the separation, okay. So next time, if you really want to come out with an alfredo, okay, you just get the sauce, then you get your noodles, okay. Let there be that differentiation. But then I thank you so much for introducing alfredo to Ghana, okay, and then showing people that we can go beyond stir fry when it comes to indomie okay so thank you so so much and then <laughs> sorry i couldn't well, get can we donate glass. don't worry, worry. Okay. should we donate it <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 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 i got the chef you didn't try the thing around the glass <laughs> from you are okay it's like for you you're supposed to try it Okay, so you were talking about the drink we had? Yeah, I got the the creation on the top from Food Network. So hey, you go um, you! <laughs> stuff, yeah. So what's at the brim of the glass? Yes. It's sugar. Mm -hmm. I melted it and then I dipped Brown the sugar glass. Or just like it regular sugar. sugar. Okay. And I melted it and I dipped the glass. In it? And mm -hmm. it crystallized. Wow, wow. wow. well it's done. done. I, I wish I tasted that. In fact, thank you, Mamiya. You're welcome. <sighs> Love yet, my sweetheart. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Yeah. Mommy is looking so nice and looking like her mom today, actually. In With that attire. Nice kit. Oh my god, I'm going on a diet because of you. This chick. Hey, hold on. Is that S for Shalom? Mm. Is that an S there? I see. No, for Shawarma. Oh, S for Shawarma. Yes. <laughs> That works too. Okay, what is this? Is this shawarma? Uh, okay, I, think it's I have on serum. my I have on my plate shawarma indomie, uh -huh. and we know that shawarma we roll it, but uh -huh. I decided to do it something like this. From so what the did you do? Did you fry the um, Lebanese bread or? Yes, I toasted it. Okay. And I did it something like this, and I greased it with mayonnaise. Ooh. Uh, movie. Something very small for you. Okay. There are so many types of Lebanese bread. Okay. okay. So this is actually called pita. Oh, pita bread. Okay. E I, I thought it was Lebanese. Yeah, I know pita bread, but I didn't see it. Mm. That is our chef for you. And that looks like, let me see, it looks like nine, meaning something else. <laughs> that is nine, meaning something else. And how do you spell pita bread again? P I T A. It's a double T. <laughs> I want to find force with me simply because of my mayor. Mm. Love it. I really like your taste. Thanks. Okay. Okay. I really, really like the taste. Chef, are you getting the spice in there? I feel the chili. I love the chili in that. Mm. In your presentation. Mm. People are making judging difficult, Papa. I'm uh, just uh, Amy <laughs> Humpo. Oh, Muntu Mubu. I'm taking a Indo peek at you. her board and oh my Mano, God. Cover it. Don't let someone. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Thank you. Love you. Christopher. That's good. Christopher, we don't have all day, darling. You should have plated a long time ago. Mm-hmm. So that's our last. Big chef today. I still miss the twelve. Okay. First of all, what is this? Wow. Your meals are always so long. <laughs> Indole. Mm. It's a mm. combination of Indomie and Dole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Your <Chef>. smoothie. <laughs> Did you cook the Indomie? Yes. Oh, yes. And just, then you blended just, it. Yes. Oh, I think wow. They should go to the orphanage. <laughs> oh wow, well done. Wow, I like this. I've been dying to taste your chicken. It's already looks like is that potato or chicken? It's, it's chicken. chicken. And it really looks like potatoes. We 
What season did you use on the chicken? Um, shrimp cube. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> now it is. Let me do it like how what we did when we were kids. Mm. Okay. It's not coming. I miss the good old days. So well, Christopher, we love your plate. Okay? I love your plate. Chef, I love you it continue too. and then let me say something else. And then I like whatever spice is in the kitchen. Um, did I say kitchen? Kitchen! <laughs> There's ah, a kitchen. The chicken. There are spices in here. He's eating the whole kitchen. <laughs> wow. So be person here again. So I like the strands, the noodles, how they came out. I like the strands, the noodles, how they came out. Not mm -hmm. overcooked, perfectly well cooked. I like the textures I'm finding in there. But then I think, with all due respect, that this is too simple for today and for us for us for this sect okay. chef georgina i actually wish please. there was something beyond this enjoy your food can you please speak up i'm sure our viewers chef, want don't to make hear. me a bad person <laughs> just say the truth <laughs> I enjoyed your food. The oh food wow! Is good. It's very, very Thank good. Thank you really so much. Okay, very, very so on that note, Christopher. It's not stir fried, but then we still have all the taste coming out. And whatever I did to the chicken was magic. How did you prepare this? Please, I cooked indomie. Mm -hmm. After cooking indomie, I placed, I set on the egg down to do a little. Mm -hmm. Then I added dole yogurt with a little sugar. Then I and I blended with it ice cubes. Which flavor? Your gut flavor. Oh, and which herb is this? Mint. It's very good. Adipa. Hmm. Yeah, I made a mistake. Mistake. Yeah. Well done, Christopher. God bless you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So, who is the best chef today, judges? We are here for. Whilst we are deliberating, let me just say a very big thank you to um, Gino and Pomo Tomato Paste. Thank you so much for coming on board. Um, the best tomato paste for your jollof, uh, anything at all that you want to cook in the kitchen. <coughs> kitchen. <laughs> and of course, Dulé yogurt. Oh, my God. So that's like a guarantee of good health. I mean, this is the best way to stay healthy. If you do not know, let me give you a little tip. So Delay has, it comes in all different flavors. The vanilla, apricot, grenadine, I mean, all, all kinds of flavors. So whatever bursts your bubble, just go for it. I, you could see from our Delay fridge that it's well stocked with all the things you need to keep healthy in this time. Many thanks to Indomie. Mmm, tastes great. You like no other. To Phytol, a cholesterol-free oil, and to yield money plus Fasusuto. You buy now, and then you pay later. It's that simple. Whilst they are, you know, basically referring to their notes, I pray that um, the well-deserving one comes out the winner today. Who's gonna be? Me. I am. Oh, mommy, are you, don't, you don't trust your meal? Okay, so um, the, the winner will get Indomie Dole and Fry Tall. And obviously, these products are going to go a long way to see you through all of us staying at home and all of that. You're getting Gino and Pomo as well. So we are basically, <laughs> we're basically, you know, trying to keep you well stocked up. So, Chef Georgina, you care to do us the honors? Actually, we have two people. Mm -hmm. So one person wins. Yes, Who's but we person? would have to give a clear differentiation before we announce who is the okay, best for today. Sure. So it's between the ties between Abigail and then Clifford. Yeah, Clifford. It's Clifford, yeah. Okay, yes, between Abigail and Clifford. So let me take it from Clifford. Please come forward. Also Abigail come forward. Okay, clap! A round of applause! Well done, Clifford and Abigail. So uh huh. 
We actually like your creativity, all of you. You went an extra mile, grinding your whole thing, and then setting up, setting it up as flour, using it for something amazing. That was perfect for you. And for you to set up a sauce, all together, sauce, the all clean, then from the base, you did this, you did that, combined all together, and fried it such in a way that it, it came out so Crunchy. well, so... You have a moist inside. Yes. We don't know how you did it. But then, it's an honor that we too, decided. okay? Decided. Yeah? decided. Decided that, let me just say something more. Abigail, we would have preferred or we would have loved it if you had an excellent plating, okay? What you served there was a little bit of a portion, okay? And you, today is your better day. I don't know, he's progressing with everyday movie. What do you think? Mm, uh, you're judging, so okay. I leave that so, to you. I think if you really want to be a master and if you want to be a big chef, you should step up to your game. And all of you, today is an amazing work, okay? We loved everything that each and every one of you prepared, all right? So Clifford, you are the best chef of the day. A round of applause. Okay, on that note, Clifford, you get products from all ah, our are you? sponsors. <laughs> Gino, Fritor, Indomie. Uh, yeah, delay and all of it. Thank you so much for tuning in to Big Chef. Remember to join us same time next week right here where we give you great meals. In fact, good meals by kids. My name is Moby the Motivator. I'm done.